there are a few additional items we can look at in our basic LP problem, and one is the Excel function equals sum product. If you remember, to calculate profit in this case, we took 30 times 70, then we took 40 times 50, and we added those things together to get the total profit. To get the total amount of carpentry we needed, we took 30 times 4 and 40 times 3 and added those together. For painting, 30 times 2 and 40 times 1 and added those together. Excel does have a function that means multiply things together and then add up the results, and that function is equals sum product. You open parentheses drag across one set of numbers, comma, drag across the other set of numbers, and you hit enter. Notice that the result didn't change here. It is still 4100. So that is the function that you use, sum product, whenever you want to multiply one set of numbers by another set of numbers and add up the results. Same thing here. A second item we can look at is called a sensitivity report. For example, maybe Flair Furniture Company is not entirely sure that the profit for a table is 70 and the profit for a chair is 50. A sensitivity report tells you how sensitive are these results, produce 30 tables and produce 40 chairs, to changes in profit. In other words, if we change the profit per chair to 55 or 45 or 60, does that completely change our solution? In order to get that sensitivity report, we run solver. Our information is still all here. This time when we click solve, we are also going to click on sensitivity to get a sensitivity report. We'll click OK what you will see is that at the bottom you now have a tab for sensitivity report we'll click on that that brings up I've just resized this so we can see it a little better we're interested in the top portion of this table uh, we have tables and chairs solvers solution was 30 tables and 40 chairs we told solver that the profit was 70 per table and 50 per chair to the right, it's showing us how sensitive these profit values are by telling us how much we can increase them or how much we can decrease them without changing the solution 30 tables and 40 chairs. So for tables, this is telling us we can increase by up to 30, which means to 100, or we can decrease it by about 3, meaning to about 67 without changing the solution to produce 30 tables and 40 chairs. So if this number is anywhere between 67 and 100, we will get the same results. In a similar way, we think that the profit per chair is 50, but it could be 2.5 more than that or 15 less than that and we would still be correct in producing 30 tables and 40 chairs in order to maximize profit. So to summarize that, if this profit per chair is anywhere between 35, which is 15 less, and 52 and a half, which is 2.5 more, we will still end up with the same solution. A third item that we might look at is a minimum production level. So, for example, Flair Furniture Company might insist that at least 40 tables are produced. So that is an additional constraint. We will label it min tables for minimum number of tables. That constraint is that the number of tables has to be greater than 40, so we will add that in over here. And to keep this organized in the same way, we are going to set this up in a way that's going to look weird at first, but you will get used to it. And what we are going to do is put a 1 here. The reason we're going to do that is that when we use our sum product, 
and say take these numbers and multiply them by these numbers the 30 ends up getting transferred from here to here in our organized columns so remember the sum product is saying take 30 times 1 and add 40 times 0 so now we can run solver again our information is still here we need to add a constraint the constraint is now that this figure is greater than or equal to this figure 40 okay solve okay and you'll see that solver has given us a new solution where the number of tables to produce is at least 40 it's 40 in fact and the number of chairs to produce is 20 our profit is now 3800 just to show that again we'll suppose that we also have a minimum production level on chairs let's say that that production level is 10 we have a new constraint minimum number of chairs that we need to be greater than 10 and we will set that up by putting a 1 as a marker in the chairs column and when we use our sum product these numbers and these numbers we end up with our number of chairs here because the sum product 40 times 0 which is nothing plus 20 times 1 which is 20 now in this case you can see that 20 is greater than 10 so our solution is going to stay good to verify that we can run solver again we add the constraint that the number here has to be greater than the number here click OK solve again OK and you'll notice that this did not change please let me know if you have any questions about using the sum product formula in this row to keep everything organized or in running a sensitivity report or in adding constraints about minimum production levels